I was sitting on my porch and the first thing I heard is an engine stalling and then I heard it um, try and rev up again and then I actually saw the lights of the plane and it was really, really low and it scared me and then all of a sudden I heard the crash. It was the nightmare scenario that sent Melanie Tardiff running from her Granite Street extension home. A small plane embedded in the roof of her next door neighbor's home. Flames darting out from the roof, a haze of smoke veiling the crowd of shocked witnesses. I was just in awe. I, I, before I even could fathom that it was a plane that crashed, I just couldn't believe it. The crash happened about a half mile from the Biddeford Municipal Airport. Witnesses on the ground described the plane as flying low. Several people called 911 immediately after seeing and hearing the crash, filling in what details they learned about the plane and where the pilot may have been headed. It was like um, a six-passenger plane. I saw three windows on each side. It's a white plane with blue lettering that I did see, and the landing gear was out. But I was told that it was an old pilot, not from Biddeford downtown area, like a 71-year-old man. Rescue workers from several towns rushed to the scene, struggling to fight the flames. The smoke so thick, the truck's lights were barely visible. Officials say miraculously no one was in this home at the time this happened, but tonight one person is confirmed dead. This site, one local resident say they never wanted to think about, but always feared. We live, we live in the path of the landing for the airport. So every time we see a plane come in low, we have to worry. We have a two-story house, and we have to worry about a plane crashing into our house. Yeah, you know, never thought it would happen. Obviously, it did, and you know, it's just a really scary thing. So now we're going to be worried even, even more. Tonight, officials are still trying to piece together what happened in this plane's final moments in the air. The investigation far from over. A tragedy still so unbelievable, even to those who watched in horror. It was very intense and, and very scary to see, just very scary.